Hello, my name is Nikki and this is my sewing room. Today we are not doing a dress. Um, I do have four dresses that I've cut out a while ago um, that I need to do, but we are going to take a break from dresses today and we are going to work on a costume that I started like four years ago and have not finished. Um, I started it out of order from the pattern um, because I was like, well, the top's a corset and corsety thing. It's not really a corset, but the top's a corsety thing and I figured I would do that first and I totally screwed it up and it looks awful, awful, awful. Um, so I've already recut out the pieces for this um, and I'm actually going to go in order from what's on the pattern. So I think it's the pants that are first. Um, this fabric is not fun. It's like a deflated balloon that's stretchy. It looks good. That's not fun to work with. Um, this is, they actually, um, Simplicity actually made patterns for these. Um, so it's this pattern, but we are doing the Halloween one, which I think is so much better. The orange and the gold, it's so pretty. So that's the style we are doing for this. So I don't have to make the hood. I don't need goggles. Um, and I've already worked on the wig and I've worked on the coffin backpack. Um, those are both really close to being done. Um, the wig needs some work. Um, and then the coffin just needs a couple of things and then it will be done. So hopefully I can get this all done today and get it done in one video, but if not, I'll be splitting this one up into two. Um, and I figured it's Halloween time. Why not do my Halloween one? Um, so I will be interspersing costumes that I have over here that I have started a long time ago and haven't touched in a long time because I've had no reason to wear them. But that doesn't mean you can't make a costume. You just make it. You have it. That's fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this.
usually when you're making stuff out of spandex, you want to do a zigzag stitch, um, but this has a pretty um, solid liner that's going in it, so this isn't going to be stretching. So doing the zigzag stitch isn't going to make a difference if I do it or not. Um, so I'm just not doing it with um, with this top because none of this is actually going to stretch. Um, it also, in the back, it calls for a zipper. I'm not going to do a zipper because this is cut out in a size that I do not wear anymore, so it's too small. So I'm actually going to do a lace back. Um, I'm probably going to add like a, I'm probably going to get some of my black cotton that I have over here and add just a little bit on the end of the back so that I'm not putting eyelets in <clears throat> this stretchy plasticky fabric because it's not going to go through very well and it's not going to stay very good. So I'm just going to take like a piece of cotton and um, just do that on the end just to put the eyelets with the um, with some interfacing in between it to make it really stiff so that it will be easier to put the eyelets and everything in. Um, also, um, my, it's not even on the bustier part on the, under the boobs there. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because it's not gonna be too noticeable. Um, and I've already spent a whole lot of time just on this front part um, that I'm not really gonna worry about it. Um, I don't think it's gonna make it, I don't think it looks awful. It doesn't look awesome, but it doesn't look awful. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And I think my boobage will kind of hide it. So I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that even though it's kind of messed up. <laughs>
behind the little bat logo and um, get the top of the rest of the little corset top that the bat goes over. Just have to attach all that in the middle and then it'll be done. Um, it took way longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I spent probably about seven, eight hours on it. Um, all that piping took forever um, and then the fabric that I chose is the worst fabric to be using on it um, because it's it's too <sighs> bendable, stretchy, movable. Um, so it's just it is what it is. It doesn't look awful. It's not beautiful by any means, but it doesn't look awful. Um, I did so like for the boot covers and the belt and. Um, the straps that are I'm going to attach to the coffin over here, um, I bought white vinyl because you're not going to find orange vinyl. And I did spend a couple days painting that. Um, so those are all painted and ready to go. Um, so really, I only have sewing left to do, 
a little bit. I have to put hinges and the buckles on the coffin, finish, make, well, redo the wig because it's just not good. Um, so the next thing that I need to sew is the pants, which not gonna take long at all. Um, so it goes pants, belt, boots, cape, and scarf because I don't need to make the hood. Um, and then the cape, I'm not gonna do exactly like this, the instructions because it's not the same as it is on the regular um, statue. The cape goes into the coffin. Um, so I'm gonna have to attach it. And what I used to attach a lot of the stuff on this, um, I actually, so I made it out of cardboard and I put the stretchy balloon black fabric over it. And then I've got on the inside, I've got the orange spandex lining. Um, I was gonna try to make it more of a usable backpack, but it's just, it's not gonna work as that, but it'll work for the um, cape, to get the cape in it. But I used um, little, because everything's gold, like all the little accessories and everything are gold, I got these fasteners to fasten everything on there. And um, so I'll probably use, I'll use these to get the straps on it so that those will stay on and then um, I'll probably use them to make sure that the cape stays in there because it's all going to be on the back and you're not going to see it so it doesn't matter if it's pretty or not um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these leggings done um, the belt and the boots are going to take a little bit because this stuff so what I did is I first painted it with this orange color um, because the orange on here is a little bit lighter but this turned out more peach and it didn't look good um, so I used this orange on top of it to um, but now it's like really orange um, but it's fine it's not everything's on there everything on there is orange so it's, you'll still be able to tell between this and the spandex part on the boots, the boot covers, um, which again, those are gonna take me a little bit because I've never made boot covers before, which is really weird. I should have made boot covers in the past with different costumes and stuff, but I never have. Um, and then I covered it all with this matte Mod Podge that didn't really turn out too matte. It's still kind of, it's kind of glossy. Um, but it's gonna keep that, the um, acrylic from cracking. So it gives the paint a little bit more flexibility so it's not gonna crack off. Um, on some of the pieces that I painted on the coffin, they were already starting to crack. So um, I just fixed them and put the Mod Podge over it and it seems like it's gonna work out just fine. Um, and then, um, like the buckles, they were silver. Couldn't find gold belt buckles anywhere when I was looking. Um, so I just, um, and then the front of the coffin is painted with the bat symbol and the little dots around it. So I just use this gold paint on all of that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the pants. Like I said, not gonna take long. Um, so I'm probably gonna end up doing this in maybe three videos. I'm trying to keep my videos down below, like under 30 minutes for sure, but I've been doing a good job of keeping it under 25 minutes. Um, so I'm going to try to get it all into two videos. If not, it'll be three, um, but I will upload all of them on the same day so that you can just watch them all in order. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna, and then I'm, because I can't get pants on the dress form, so I'll probably, when it's all done, I'll probably model it. That'll be fun. Um, so, it'll be a reason to wear it. So, there we go. 
So I'm gonna get these pants going, um, finish those up real quick. Like I said, I'm not gonna hem the bottom um, because that's just pointless since the boot covers are gonna cover the bottom. There's no point in hemming the bottom of the pants. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. So basically I just need to put the pieces together and put the elastic in the top and that's it. That's gonna take no time whatsoever. Um, and then the belt will take a little bit um, working with all of all of these pieces I have laying around. Um, so we'll we'll see how that goes. That's gonna the belt and the boot covers are gonna be interesting to work on because it's it's a lot on both of those but get these leggings done because it'll be really 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 fast and then we'll I'm gonna try to finish this today I'm gonna try it's probably not gonna happen um but either way I'm gonna get done as much as I can today and get all these videos up on the same day so that it's all because who wants to say it I mean I I don't know. I have a short attention span, so sometimes I, so I'm trying to keep my videos short and that way it's not too much at once and not like an hour long video of all of this. So I'd rather do three 20-ish minute videos, put them all up on the same day so you can watch them all back to back or just watch one and then however you want to do it. So make it a little bit easier, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever. <laughs>